Hello, everybody. Well, um, I told you I'd post more, so I'm gonna try. I know it looked like crap, so bear with me. Um, it's just that it's my day off, and but I'm at the studio, um, catching up on some writing projects and stuff. So I thought I would go ahead and make a video. Um, someone asked me to make a video on spirit releasement, um, so that's what I thought I'd, I'd theme this video. And yes, I do have a new tattoo. It's uh, <laughs> it says Om Mane Padme Om. Um, yeah, we'll get more about into that later. <laughs> I can't I can't go back and add it into my um, other tattoo video. And this one's also new. The one that says God. Um, but yeah, so. I thought it would be cool to just talk a little about spirit releasement. Um, we have a group that's um, Soul Interaction Research Team, and we're kind of a paranormal investigation group. And the reason I say kinda is because we're not like the other groups. Um, our main goal is not to go out and to document what is or isn't there. Our goal is to go out and to provide service to the individual who may have called us out, and then also to the um, spirit energy that's in the space. Um, my thing has always been that I watch these shows like Ghost Hunter and I watch these shows like um, you know you know Taps and all these other shows that are out there but they go in they, they, they stomp around and then they leave. Um, sometimes they do provide service to the family but you never really see them providing service to the individual that may be crossed over. Uh, my thing is that if I am on the other side and I'm lost I want someone to tell me how to get to the light or how to get into a better place, how to move forward, how to progress out of where I am. Um, otherwise it's not being of service to all that are involved. Um, ghosts are not there for our entertainment. They're not there for um, to for us to derive some kind of pleasure or enjoyment from. Um, I'm sure that none of us uh, would want to be stuck in that situation where we didn't know how to get home and couldn't communicate that to anyone. I mean, when I lived in Japan, like, that was bad. We were walking around one day outside of the base, and we got lost, like, literally, like, right outside the base. Um, and we were trying to find our way back to the base, and no one could understand what we were saying, or they chose not to. And they gave us little cards on it that, you know, it said in Japanese, show me how to get back to the base, but no one would even stop to look. It's like they didn't even see us there. So I would compare that to being in the same... Um, frame as to what it would be to be stuck on that side and not be able to to find your way to the light or to move on. Um, I'm going to do some very specific um, videos on how to do spirit releasement um, and we're hopefully going to be able to take our camera out to do some um, actual investigations and show you what it is that we actually do. But one of the easiest and simplest things you can do is just if you feel there's an energy around your presence is to just say that it's okay to, to go to the light. You don't have to remain here. Um, it's okay to move on. It's okay to move forward. Um, something as simple as that. I mean, you don't have to do a big ritualistic kind of thing. It's just as simple as having the intent to provide service to that individual and say, look, you don't have to hang around here. You can move forward. You can move on. You can go back to the light. Um, you know, so that's the most basic way. Um, when you're looking like, when you're working like dark energies and those kind of things, there's a whole separate like ball game. And I'll get into that, you know, in some future videos. If there's something in specific you have about, you know, that you want me to talk about in regards to um, paranormal stuff, you know, put it down in the comments or you can shoot me an email at michael, M I C H A E L, at michaelbrazel.com. And be sure you check out my website. Lots of good stuff on there. We're going to be updating it soon with lots of new stuff. Um, our website for the Paranormal Group is returntothelight.org, I think, or .com. I'll figure it out and I'll post it in the where it gets posted. So, so that's it. You know, I don't want to, you know, make you feel like you have to keep staring at me with this hideousness. Um, but anyways, much love to you all as always, and. Wow.